Hello and welcome. The following video shows the processes involved in a concertor floor change. When we undertake a floor change, it takes four technicians one hour to complete, no matter which way the floor is going. In the case of this video, we are going to show you a flat two-seated change. The first step is to lower the floor down, allowing the sleds which carry the seats to be winched out from under the stage. With any floor change in the concert hall, we always start on the left hand side, when looking at the stage that is, then the right and finally the centre sled. As the sleds are moving out, the technicians drop pins. These engage into conveniently placed holes in the floor, which lock the sleds into place, ready for the tilting process. Each of the sleds weigh 35 tonnes. These are being pulled out by a winch and cable system. This makes the job a lot simpler. If the winch were to break down, it would take around 16 people one day to do one change. However, if the cable were to snap, there would be some very serious injuries. This is why all technicians stand well clear of the cable whilst the sled is in motion. The next step is to raise the floor to the pre-tilt position. It is at this point that we have to change the gears. The whole concert hall floor is supported on eight screw jacks, shown here by this simple animation. The jacks are controlled by very powerful motors. The two most outer rear motors have gear levers attached to them, indicated here by the pink boxes. The gears have safety pins, which, once removed, allow the gears to be changed, just like a car. This enables the rear jacks to move faster than the front jacks, thus making the floor tilt. The final stage, once tilted, is to place thick heavy planks into each of the front corners, plugging up any gaps between the seating sleds and the stage. Thank you for watching.